power and access to information that the president of the United States had 10 to 15 years ago. And that is a complete truth. Remember, the iPhone is only seven to eight years old. So if you go back to 2007, there was no iPhone. And before that, we cannot even think what the smartphone looked like. We saw the picture of a big computer, and this is much more powerful than the big computer that you saw there. So you see that smartphones right now, the guy who's not looking at the screen is the person who looks weird. You know, everyone else is doing their, their thing with the phones. And uh, you know, looking down, that is the, the human, you know, it, it's like this. So I think that devices like head-mounted displays, like Google Glass and others, are really gonna make us you know, human again, erect again, rather than you know, looking down at our screens constantly. I think that uh, uh, it's a little demonstration of how we do it with smartphones. Simple Skype or FaceTime call. But now there are many apps out there. Before, when we started the, uh, the uh, 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 pilot program on using smartphones for teleconsultations, there was no apps that were medical grade encrypted. Three, four months later, we had three, five, four apps that now you can buy and then very easily get access to live audio and video from a smart device. And you can see the devices very easily. Curly is a company, it's a singularity company. Basically, it's an app that allows you to access physicians and physicians to access patients. It democratizes, in a way, medicine because on a smartphone, you can get a physician anywhere, anytime. 3.8 million visits. 80% of those visits don't require the physical touch. And that is what really makes the case for telemedicine. Google Glass is a device that is not dead. I think Google Glass proved that <coughs> this type of platform is the platform that is gonna make things different. We're just not gonna be looking at an external device. We're gonna have a device on our heads and eventually it's gonna be in our bodies. And that is really important. And this is a little demonstration of how Google Glass works. But you can, <coughs> if you're not familiar with it, I don't wanna play the whole video because, uh, but it gives you the perspective of the user's view. And that is very, very important. It's an evolution. You know, there are now many devices like Google Glass. You have devices like the Athir Glass, which is the best I've seen, and it's almost in the market. Athir Glass is a portable computer that with gestures allows you to, in the air, play with the apps and uh, move them out of your field of view and then interact with them just by touching the air, the, the, the actual surface. Now you have uh, HoloLens from Microsoft, and now the Sony one came out. So it is happening, and it will not stop from happening. So is